Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I want to ask that how can I give dawah to my parents that they start believing Islam, believe in Allah, believe in the day of judgment. Anyhow, I want to convince them that Islam is the best and without Islam, nothing is in life. I want to save them from the fire of hell. Please, please suggest me how, how can I suggest? Okay. Sister, what religion do your parents follow? Hindu. Hindus. Sister, my request to you is, before I answer this question, as Brother Musa said, in Islam we have to follow the Amir. So the chairman of the organizing committee has given permission to forget about the other organizers. So when Dr. Ahmed Shabani has given us permission, the lower committee don't follow. In Islam we follow the Amir. So we go ahead and inshallah till the non-Muslims are there, we continue. The sister asked the question that how will she be able to help her parents who are Hindu to get them toward the Islam which she believes is the true religion. Sister, one of the master keys for doing dawah according to me in the Quran is Surah Al Imran, chapter 3, verse 64, which says, Tala vila kalimatin sawa im bayna baynakum. Come to common terms as between us and you, which is the first time Allah nabuda illallah, that we worship none but Allah. So my request to you would be that you can take my DVD and I've given a talk on similarities between Islam and Hinduism. Based on this DVD, you will never hurt your parents because this DVD is based on the verse of the Quran that come to common terms. And inshallah, once you show this DVD, if they are logical, if they are truthful, inshallah, Allah will also guide them to the true part. Please My, again say DVD name, please. The name of the DVD is Similarities Between Hinduism and Islam. The other DVD is also there. There are hundreds of my DVDs. You can select some of them. There's a debate I had with Shishi Ravi Shankar on concept of God in Islam and Hinduism in the light of the sacred scriptures. Even that is good. There are other DVDs like Universal Brotherhood which talk about Hinduism also. My request to you would be ask them to see this DVD and I would request you that when you meet with your parents, love them more, respect them more, Follow everything what they say, except if they tell you to do something which is against Quran and Sahih Hadith, which is against Allah and His Rasul. Anything else, you follow them. And I always tell the reverse. That suppose they tell you to do something which you did not like, but it is not haram in Islam. For example, they used to tell you that wear this blue color dress. You say, no mother, I don't like blue color. Now once you accept Islam, wearing blue is not haram. So you tell your mother, because you are my mother, you are telling me to wear blue, though I don't like blue, I will wear blue. So your mother should realize that after my daughter has become a Muslim, she's respecting me more, she's obeying me more. Only those things, what they ask you to do, which is against Allah and His Rasul, against Quran and Sahih Hadith, you don't follow, everything else you follow. The moment they see the change, that my daughter is loving me more, she's respecting me more, she's caring for me more, she's taking more care of me. There should be a difference. That's why I want, I will call my parents here, visit after one or two months after, and I will make so much khidmat of my parents. <laughs> Inshallah. Inshallah, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may He make you the zariah to get your parents on the straight path. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that inshallah may Allah give hidayah to both your parents. Inshallah. I have one message for here present all non-Muslim brother and sister. Please accept the Islam. Believe in Allah. Because I know, I know better. Without Islam, life is nothing. Without worshipping Allah, life is nothing. You are like a dead people. Please accept Islam. Islam is gold. 
Please accept this call. La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. May Allah bless you and protect you, dear sister. So in Islam, why there is no caste system?